As we come together this afternoon, it's not just for any one particular holiday, for this is the holiday season, and this is the time of Jubilee. And some of the holidays that the world <laughs> recognizes at this time, Hanukkah, Christmas, Kwanzaa, New Year's. So may the festival of Hanukkah bring blessings upon you and all your loved ones. May the lights of Christmas usher in a better world for all humankind. May love and peace for your home and heart at Kwanzaa. And may happiness fill your home as you celebrate the new year. Now Hanukkah is an eight-day Jewish holiday. And when you listen to many of our Jewish brethren, they say it's really not a major holiday. It's just really known because it's close to Christmas. And even fact, some people <coughs> combine the two holidays. In 168 AD, the Romans overtook Jerusalem and they defiled the temple. And so it was almost 100 years later when the Jews were able to take back their city. And they were distraught because the temple had been defiled from the worship of pagan gods. And they had to burn oil in order to cleanse the temple. They only found a small amount of oil, just enough for a day. But they put it in the manure and lit it. And a miracle beyond miracles, it lasted for the full eight days requested. So may the miracle of Hanukkah bring blessings to you. Many Christians throughout the world celebrate Christmas. And they celebrate it as the birth date of Jesus Christ, the one whose teachings are the foundation of Christianity. Jesus, it is believed, was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of a virgin. He performed miracles, founded the church, and he had died to atone for mankind's sins. May the lights of Christmas remind you of this sacrifice. Kwanzaa is a holiday that began in the late 1990s. And actually it was established in the United States and it's recognized also in Canada, celebrating the heritage of African Americans. And Kwanzaa lifts up several traits and values, such as unity, self-determination, collective work, responsibility, cooperative economics, purpose, creativity, and faith. And the new year, well, in this part of the world, most of us celebrate the new year's January 1st, though we know of many different cultures and beliefs that celebrate it at another time. But the common fact is that this gives people the time to reflect on the past, to make resolutions for the future. So therefore, we as Toastmasters appreciate the opportunity of coming together and celebrating the different holidays of the world and the culture to reflect on the new, <coughs> reflect on the old, so that we can better the potential of the new.
to reaffirm our faith, to appreciate our family, our friends, our colleagues. Appreciation of peace, of blessings, and also love. And like the temple of old, we want to rededicate and commit ourselves to become better leaders and communicators in this world. Toastmasters.